Hello and welcome to the Smart Value Bytes. I'm Shomitra Sengupta. Today we are going to talk about uh, the top five uh, indicators for momentum traders. Uh, momentum trading, momentum indicators are tools that are used by uh, traders to under to gauge the underlying strength of the market. Uh, they are called uh, momentum indicators because the principles behind the uh, calculation of these indicators are similar to uh, are similar to those used to calculate speed and acceleration. There are many kinds of uh, momentum indicators, but they can be categorized in roughly into three groups: uh, closing price compared to previous close. Uh, these are uh, indicators like uh, relative strength indicators or uh, ROC rate of change. Then closing price compared to a range. Uh, this type of indicator compares current price action to a previous range. These kinds of indicators try to show whether the market is weaker or stronger than it has been uh, previously. Um, and uh, then there is uh, that class of momentum indicators where closing price is compared to a moving average. So uh, a, a bullish indicator is uh, if the price is above the 50 day moving average and a bearish indicator is if the price is below the 200 day moving averages. So, so these are the uh, categories under which uh, momentum indicators can be classified. But specifically, there are five uh, momentum indicators that I want to talk about today. And uh, uh, the first one that I'm going to talk about is the relative strength index. The relative strength index is the most commonly used momentum trading indicator. It works by comparing the average number of higher closes to a, uh, in a given period uh, divided by the average number of lower closes. It then inverts it to create an oscillator of a zero to 100 with overbought and oversold at 70% and 30% respectively. The second indicator that I want to talk about is the uh, rate of change, which is uh, exactly what its name indicates. It basically measures uh, the change in prices from a fixed uh, starting point till the current uh, time. So that's the rate of change. Then we have the uh, moving average convergence divergence or the MACD. The MACD is one of the top momentum indicators for trend continuation. It works by comparing a longer exponential moving average to a shorter exponential moving average to produce an MACD line. So this uh, MACD line would uh, allow us to understand whether a trend would continue or a trend would reverse. The fourth uh, indicator uh, that I want to talk about is the moving average, which is very, very widely used. And it's, uh, it's an indicator that I am particularly, um, I have a weakness for it. Uh, it, it, it gives very good uh, results. So um, you can have uh, shorter term moving averages for short term trading. You can have longer term moving averages for longer term trading. Typically, as I've already mentioned, uh, 50 DMA and prices above the 50 uh, day moving average tends to uh, signify uh, strength and uh, prices below the 200 day moving average tends to signify weakness. The fifth uh, indicator that I'm, I'm going to talk about is the Bollinger Bands. The Bollinger Bands are a technical analysis tool uh, used to measure overbought and oversold market conditions along with market volatility. They consist of two trend lines above and below a simple moving average, uh, which is also known as the middle band. The upper band is plotted above the middle band by two standard deviations, and the lower band is plotted um, below the middle band by two standard deviations. So you have a middle band, and then you have the upper band, which is two standard deviations above, and the lower band, which is two standard deviations below. When the prices are closer to the upper band, the market is said to be in overbought conditions. And when the uh, prices are closer to the lower band, uh, the, the market is said to be in an uh, oversold position. So the prices 
range between the upper band and the lower band. And this is a very, very good indicator uh, for uh, understanding whether trends would continue or trends would reverse. So it's an oscillate, oscillating uh, indicator. Thank you.